Um, so let me tell you, I've used Shopify since 2013. It is the absolute best. And I can't even tell you how many people, how many women I've converted to Shopify. Here's why. If you're selling on Etsy or in a Facebook group in particular, um, you there are a few things. Um, first of all, you don't have control if you're you're selling in one of those. Like, let's say, for example, you're selling on Etsy. I'd really love for you to own the assets of your company. I'd really love for you to be able to create an email list that you own and be able to email them when you want to. Um, that is like the biggest asset that you have as an online store is your email list and the ability to communicate with people. And that's why it was so uh, hard for me earlier this week when I couldn't communicate, when my emails weren't going through, um, when I had that glitch earlier this week. Um, you can see that to effectively run an online business, you have to have access to communicate. That's one. When you're on Etsy, you're not going to have that. When you're on Facebook, do you have an email list? If you're building on Facebook or on a page or in a group, um, most women I talk to don't. Okay. Um, that's the first part. Your email list is a huge part of it. And if you're not selling on Shopify, you don't have that. 99% of you don't. Um, the other thing is if you're just selling on Facebook in a group or on a page, most of you, it would be in a group uh, because groups get more engagement. Here's the thing. Um, there are so many things that can go wrong. You can lose access to Facebook. I have talked with women that have lost access. They've been locked out. Their entire group's been deleted. Um, it's scary to think that Facebook is in charge of your business and they're basically in control. Um, so if you want to continue selling in Facebook, that's perfectly great. You know, you've got a head start if you've already got a Facebook group. But if you add a Shopify piece, you can now put all your inventory on Shopify, connect it to your Facebook page. It will pull in your merchandise into Facebook. You can actually do live sales now and people check out through Shopify. And that's a new feature that's just come like in the last six months or year to Facebook. Um, also, think about this. What if someone wants to buy something, but you're not on? Or what if they want to browse? Like, how hard is it if you're in a Facebook group to go in there and like browse stuff? Like, what are you supposed to do? Scroll through the links and like try to find stuff that you, I mean, it's just hard, right? And so if you want people to buy from you and be loyal customers, you want to make it as easy as possible for them to do that. So having a Shopify store lets them shop when they want to, right? And it's easy. It's so easy. Um, there was a girl last year that I, she did not think that Shopify was important. I said, okay, just give me 30 days. And so we set up a store for her. And do you know, like in her first week, she emailed me and said, Karina, I made sales while I was sleeping. And I didn't even have to do anything. I didn't have to go live, nothing. And it was all because she was promoting her store, her Shopify store inside her Facebook group. So people were actually shopping when they wanted to shop, you know, not just posting and waiting to be invoiced. Um, so I really want you to think about that. Um, if you want to grow your business and you're just on Facebook, that is, that is the sticking point. That's why you're stuck. You have to grow and expand and give your customers better options to shop with you. Um, it's better to have multiple streams to shop. So let's say you're on Etsy. Well, let's add Shopify. Let's put your products also in a Shopify store. That way you can own your email list and you can start building your own business instead of letting the Etsy have all the control. You can still sell on Etsy, but you can also sell on Shopify. Shopify.